hair was turning gray. He worked all day in sunshine and the rain. And the angels are all silent and ride upon the plain. And the rumble of the old ox wagon train was many years ago. His hair was black as jet. His whitened and his heart had known much pain. Then I'll tell you all a story, a story short and true. How the hero of the old ox wagon train. On the western prairie, the howling redskins came. The savage hills were driving him insane. He was dead when we found him, so cold beside the trail. The hero of the old ox wagon train. At last the redskins vanished, and when the sun came through, we knew that he would never arrive again. But he had saved the family, his heart was brave and true. The hero of the old ox wagon train. Say, what's the matter with you Indians? Ain't I sworn blood brotherhood? Why, as sure as my name is Cherokee Charlie, I ain't telling you no lies. Go on, tell them, Snake. Ah, Cherokee, speak truth. Winchester's firewater up from Taos. Ah, oh, good. Looks like renegades from Taos. No. Who's the leader here? Well, I am. What about it? The government does not permit guns and whiskey sold to the Indians. Oh, is that so? Snake, tell the Indians what he said. Oh, men who ride with gun say no can have. Uh, That's uh, right, and I mean it. Well, this looks like trouble to me. Plenty trouble. No money. Oh, is that so? Well, they're not going to stop me. I'm getting Chief I Hawk and organizing a raid on the next wagon train. Thundercloud reports from Chief Yellow Wolf that they have not broken their treaty made in the medicine lodge, and they don't know who killed the soldiers. See if you can learn who did it. Uh, he says he thinks the pale faces up from Taos did it. Tell them the powwow is over, but assure them of our peaceful intentions. Andrew Thomas, you are detailed to learn what renegades are harassing the wagon trains. Yes, sir. Thomas, what do you suggest? I should be permitted to go disguised as a renegade. Granted. I shall provide you with plenty of Mexican dollars to carry out your plan. Report your findings to me. Yes, sir. I feel you are the best man on the post to carry on this dangerous mission by virtue of your knowledge of the Indian ways. I'll do my best, sir. Get off my Get off my back. Get off my back. Come on, Come on, Pull into that, will you? Get up. Oh. Oh, Annabelle Louise. What is it? What's the trouble? What, what happened to you? Annabelle Louise laid her first egg. Well, if Pa hadn't eaten Annabelle Louise's grandma, she'd have been here to teach Annabelle Louise how to cack. Aren't you glad you didn't eat Annabelle Louise? Suzanne Carter, I ain't never had no idea of eating her. Oh, Sue, don't drop that. I want that for Dick. That boy always gets the luxuries. Land's sake, why shouldn't he? 
Oh, shucks, Ma. I was only fooling. I wonder if Dick wants that our egg uh, solved half and half. Oh, sir. Half today and half tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, wonder where that boy is. Hmm? Dickie! <laughs> Dickie! Dickie! Here I am, Ma, over here. Uh, Dick. You better go back to your ma. Oh, every time she can't see me, she starts yelling for me. Oh, well, you can't blame her for worrying with all these hostile Indians running around. I'd certainly like to see some of these Indians you're always talking about. I'd certainly make them eat the dust. <laughs> Maybe you better practice on your shooting, huh? See if you can hit that air tree. All right. <laughs> A little more practicing and you'll be able to stand up and... Bullocks are down again. Give them a hand. Right. Are you the wagon master? I am. What can I do for you? Well, I have something to tell you in confidence. <laughs> See, my commander wants my identity kept a secret. You can depend on me. We've been having a lot of trouble. What name have you been using? Oh, might as well use Johnson. Just call me the kid up from Tails. All right. Come on, I'll introduce you. We ought to go out and get some game. What do you think, huh? Folks, this is Mr. Johnson. Howdy. Howdy, how are you? Glad to meet you, Mr. Johnson. My name's Bland Jack. He asked permission to travel with us, and I granted it. Welcome, stranger. Sure. I'm certainly glad to be with you all. Well, we're glad to have you. Well, come on, let's hitch up. Anything I can do, Wagon Master? Yes, come along with me. I'll show you something to do. Tell High Hawk I give him guns. Hands attack train. We divide the spoils. Is it all right? Uh, High Hawk say scalpel knives sharp. All pale face die. Oh, I know that. How how do we divide? Uh, Indians one third, we two thirds. When does he start? Pretty soon. Indians in hills. Hello, Johnson. Hello there, how are you? Did you find out anything? Yeah. Now, we ought to keep this from the women folks. They might get excited. But I found these cross arrows on the road coming up. And that's a sure sign of trouble. I'll send out scouts in opposite directions. See what they can find out. You take to the hills. Okay. So easy now. We ought to see them when we reach the top. My bison! That's Annabella Louise! Good gosh, all hemlock. How did she get here? say him ready to strike. Well, tell him to wipe them all out. I'll give him an extra Winchester and a keg of fire water. Uh. <laughs> well, that ain't Annabelle Louise. That ain't a rooster. Why, you're right. <laughs> Hey, you get your horse. I'll get my gun. We'll meet at the wagon train. All right.
What's the matter, boy? Oh, you want to get out of here, huh? Jumping frog's legs. Come on, pal. Now get down out of sight, quick! The hills are full of them. Come here, sir. Come here, Michael. Oh, oh, Drive into the train. Okay. Get out. Come on, Clover. Silver. Come on. Get in. Come on. Come on. Everybody, all right up there. Oh, boys! Now come down, young fella. Don't waste no lead. Don't shoot until you see the color of the war paint. All right. Here, load this rifle and hand it back to me. You'll have to work fast. I'm ready.
Oh, it's all right, Ma. <laughs> Too darn bad. I told you not to shoot too fast. like they're quitting. You better pass the word along to save the lead. Hold your fire! <laughs> well, we licked them, Scout. <laughs> We've offered up our prayers for the dead. We must now look to the living. Excuse me, folks. I am looking for the wagon master. That's me? Well, we were chased by the Indians and just managed to escape with our lives. They were after our ponies. I'd like to have the protection of your train. Well, this battle has left us shorthanded. Glad to have you. Thanks. Hold it up. I uncork him. All right. Hey, 
Thanks. Much obliged. Hey, you ruined my corn liquor. Maybe next time I do you a favor, you offer me drink. Uh. I've got one in my saddlebag I brought up from Tahoe's. Would you like to have it? Why, yes. Why, them's medicine charms the Indians wear. I took them off the savage that shot your father. I saw the chief that was leading those Indians. Someday I'll hang this on his grave. Well, you're looking as pretty as a cactus bloom today. The uh, cactus has thorns, Mr. Cherokee. Yes, but you can always avoid the thorns and pick the cactus apples when you know how. I don't think I'd like cactus apples. from Taos where Indian bead. No Indian were army button either. Well, uh, what part of the west are you going to? That's the trinket I was telling you about. It's supposed to have been made by a race that's extinct and passed on from this earth. We ought to make it in a couple of days. Yeah. Oh, Mr. James, isn't this pretty? Where did it come from? Mr. Johnson brought it up in Taos. I've got my doubts that you've ever been in Taos, mister. What gives you those doubts, mister? Because you don't ride a horse like nobody from Taos. Is that so? Anybody from Taos knows how to break a wild horse. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bet my string of ponies against your horse that you can't ride one of mine over two jumps. Sorry, mister, but I couldn't bet my horse. I'm pretty fond of that animal. And besides, I wouldn't want him to fall on the hands of anybody I didn't know. Betting's my business. Five hundred dollars in gold against your string of horses. That boy ain't thrown. How about it? <laughs> Well, you're just throwing away your money. Unless, of course, uh, your friend here doesn't care to ride. I wouldn't mind to take a little exercise. Well, don't blame me if you break your neck. It's my neck. All right. Hey, Snake! Bring dynamite! Out the open! Hey, have you got any last words you want to put on your tombstone? Well, let me see. Um, yeah, I think I have. Disturb not the body beneath the dew. It might be me and it might be you. You see these silver dollars? Yeah. I'm going to put one in each stirrup. And they'll be there when I get back. I'll make you a present of them. You might need them. <laughs> Hello, boys. Mm -hmm. I knew he could oh, do it. Look at him ride. Right. Oh, look at that right. horse, though, He certainly can ride. I knew that boy'd ride. Look at him break that horse, would you? Yes, he's riding. Look at him bump. Oh, yes. Look at that horse. He's a cyclone in a saddle. I guess he's from Tails, all right. Thanks for the string of ponies. Oh, he's pretty tame. I think I'll send him home to my grandmother. Well, here's your silver dollars. And here's your little buttercups. I guess you could thank me for the two dollars. You want to make any more bets? 
those fine old man is turning gray. He works all day in the sunshine and the rain. And the angels are all silent that ride upon the plains and the rumble of the old white wagon train. But those many years ago, his hair was black as jet, his white and his heart in so much pain. Let me tell you all the story, the story that is true, how he was the old white wagon train. What are you doing there, old scout? How do you like my Indian charm? Ah, that's swell. That's a real thing, all right. I'm adding these two lucky dollars to it. I'm going home, going home, where the coyotes howl and the buffalo roam. Going home. here with the stars looking down you just know someone up there's watching over you I've often felt like that too when I've been out riding alone at night but I've always been sort of afraid to tell anyone until I met you the wagon master says we'll be there tomorrow I'm glad sure all we got to do is cross the river. Paul were here. Oh, no, Mumsy. I'm the man of the family now, Mom, and I'll protect you. That's right, Dickie. We'll go down and hitch the horses. Me and Sue are going to the stockade store. All right. Oh, my parasol. Huh. Girl live over there. Yeah? Well, you wait here. I am going down to make a social call. <laughs> well, hello. So this is where you're hiding out, eh? Huh? Dicky, I'll finish hitching the horses. You go get Sue. All right, Mom. Well, well, well. So this is the place that that kid from Tails helped your ma buy from old man Horton, huh? Mr. Johnson very kindly helped us. Yeah? Well, I think he has different ideas. Mr. Johnson's a gentleman. He's always welcome here. Now, now. That isn't a bit social-like. This isn't the wagon train. You're not wanted here. Now, just a moment. Let's you and I get a little better acquainted, huh? Let go! Oh, now, wait a minute. You get out of here and stay out. This place belongs to us now. <laughs> well, I'll have to take some lessons in etiquette from Mr. Johnson, so I'll know what to do when I come back. <laughs> Well, what's all the shooting for? Oh, nothing, Mom. I just took a shot of the skunk. Oh, the stockade store will be closed. Let's go along. Maybe I'd better go along. No, there's too much work to be done here. No one's going to bother us.
<laughs> Looks like she don't give you a kiss of welcome, huh? No? Well, she will, and plenty. Say, where are those Indian ponies you spotted? What are you selling? A bird or a boat? Both. Sure, how much you want for it? Well, how much will you give for them? Not interested. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mrs. Carter. Oh, hey, Bison. Hi, Sue. Mr. Johnson's inside. My Bison. I didn't come to see him. <laughs> Hello, Sue. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Carter. Hello, Mr. Carter. Ah! Oh, I thought you said the parrot was lost. Well, they did. Well, it, uh, it, we just found it. Corn liquor, Bison? No. Well, he was here. He was here a minute ago. Shh, Say, here's some new blankets. Take a look at this. Bison, I didn't tell Ma, but Cherokee Charlie was out at the homestead today. Did he make any trouble? Mm, no, not, not much. Thomas, are you sure no one saw you enter here? Yes, sir. And I'm certain the Cherokee Charlie and his partner Snake are the men we're after. Get positive proof and we'll act immediately. Yes, sir. What did you tell him? Just like you say, we see Carter steal Indian pony. Well, you tell them that you'll take them down and show them where they are. Ah, the hunter, Abish. Ah, are you cured?
Hello? 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 What does this mean? Who are they bringing him here for? Say, why did you bring him here? Sammy, please. Sammy, help me, please. Don't let these Indians have me. Why did you do it? 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 Wait a minute. What's the next stop? What did you stop? Oh, too many. Well, what are they going to do with him? Indians say kick boy to Chief Yellow Wolf. Cherokee! Cherokee! Oh, you bungling fool. Why did you let those Indians bring that kid here for? <laughs> Me save skin. Your skin? Why, we'll all be strung up for this. That kid has seen us with the Indians. We better go far away. No, not my way of thinking. I'm going to see that there is an uprising. There's too rich a haul of furs and ammunition in this town, and I'm not going to lose out. to die, but you better not. The soldiers will come and wipe you out.
arm! Take it to the stockade! Pick it up quick! Oh boy! Now listen, Fox, we've got to be smart. If I'd send for those soldiers, we'd never get him out of there alive. Come on, let's circle the camp. Indians say two braves found dead at ponies. They are, Chief. What did I tell you? You tell them, Snake. Uh, I tell them, white man said, don't wipe out all Indians. Quiet, boy. I want you to take me to Dick. Will you take me? Huh? All right. Chief Yellow Wolf say his TP medicine lodge. White man no tell lies. Well, of course I ain't lying. Uh. <laughs> Chief Yellow Wolf say braves have boys scalp. Andy! Oh, you in city up, it's a yap in our city of Kehoa, which has papo. Enough of a yapo. How do you feel? I feel all right. Can you stand up? I think so. Now, quick, get the black fox. Come on, Dick! Give me your hand, Dick! I've been looking all over this town for you. We should have been home hours ago. Well, I, I, I've been right here all the time.
Have you got my lucky charm? Sure, do you want it? <laughs> you ought to be shot, and I'll just let the wildcats eat you. Boy, those Indians will sure go on the warpath now. Through that pass the Spanish trail, and it leads to the fort. Do you think you can make it and get the troops? Just try me. Well, I hate to let you go by yourself, but the Indians will attack the town first. That's what I'm riding. Good luck, kid. Adios. All right, Dick brought him. Yeah! -ho! <laughs> Ain't that great for the thing? I'm going to get you up in the... I'm going to get you up in the... I'm going to get you up in Chief Yellow Wolf has spoken. He says lies were told to them in their medicine lodge. And he will make peace if they can have Cherokee to deliver to their great spirit to answer for his white lies. I believe that the best thing to do. Tell the chief we accept his terms. Hate you too. It's 
beautiful down there, isn't it? Investment will soon be over, and when it is, we're going to build a home down there. Hello.